I'd like to show you um, this little um, project that I'm doing. It's kind of a, a robotic uh, pan tilt head with a bunch of intelligence built into it. Um, I'm totally I'm just developing it right now, so um, it's a kind of under construction. But um, um, essentially, what it has is um, it has um, uh, two servo motors, a large one at the bottom, and then the smaller one. Um, that gives you a pan tilt kind of behavior and then um, on the top it has like a TFT display which um, is useful for a variety of purposes but I mean it could put some kind of facial expression on there it could um, be just be used for plotting um, debug information and then it has a depth sensor infrared depth sensor and also it has um, a little camera which is um, very low resolution but it's capable of um, doing motion estimation um, so that's actually pretty good. Um, and then um, the whole thing is, um, whoops, the whole thing is uh, running from um, a uh, Arduino Micro, and um, it has a three degree of freedom uh, gyroscope on it as well. So there's some feedback of the of the motion. So I just want to show you. Um, what it's doing right now, which is um, motion tracking. So um, if I put my hand here, you can see that it will track my hand around as I move it up and down. Now, one of the problems right now is it's like rather wobbly um, when it goes up and down. But it's pretty good. It's pretty fast, you see. You can track it pretty easily. Um, the reason why it's wobbly is because there's actually quite a lot of uh, play in the uh, gears, uh, backlash in the gears for the, uh, for the for the smaller servo motor, and also it's a little bit top heavy, but not, you know, the dynamics, um, you know, that's one thing. Um, if the um, servo motor was, uh, well, I mean, potentially some of that those dynamics issues issues could be solved in um, software since there's like a, a gyro and um, like a, a this uh, and this camera built into it um, but I haven't really looked at that yet so it's a question about whether that's going to be possible I don't know but we'll see um, but it's quite it's quite capable of uh, tracking quite um, quite easily my hand um, and then another thing that's kind of cool to show you is the fact that you know it, it actually it, well, it, uh, it it will track um, the motion of my of my hands moving around. So if I actually turn the box, it does a good job of keeping the camera pretty steady. Now it doesn't have quite the same gain in the forward back direction, so it doesn't do track it so well. I mean, it is tracking it. It's just uh, it's just not quite so much. Um, but um, it's pretty good at tracking rotation motions even if they're quite fast and keeps it looking in the same direction um, so it also has um, a bunch of switches on and um, has a speech synthesizer as well so um, I'm looking at doing some kind of social interactive um, active head on this thing um, which should be kind of interesting um, going forward all right